teams in late model racing are not out there. Last time tonight, ladies and gentlemen, up on your feet, put your hands together for the late models as they have their opening night XLI late model feature race here at the Perth Motorplex. It still promises to be a beauty, regardless of the fact that Brad Blake, Joe Chalmers and Warren Oldfield are non-starters. First feature at the Motorplex for the late models this season, the XLI late models. 30 lap feature is a go. Ken McPherson, decent start on the outside, but Brent Vosbergen's going to have the better line getting into TD Granny Flats, turn number one. Has the lead, Jay Carty, decent start from him, starting from position number four, moves up a spot in the early stages. While wow, he's managed to get past, it's Jamie Oldfield who's the one that drops back a spot, then Luke Halliday, and then a wall of cars right behind. There's about seven or eight of them all in one spot. Unfortunately, we've lost one car already, that is Nathan Richards. Meanwhile, our race leader has already escaped out by about two and a half seconds. While it's been a wild ride further back for Jay Carty, the 52, who almost got up all off the four wheels. Yeah, it's a pretty uh, hectic at the moment. There's Jay Carty on the left of screen. In the middle is Jamie Oldfield and Luke Halliday just behind. That's the battle for third, fourth and fifth place at this stage. Just ahead of them is Kenny McPherson and Brent Vosbergen has already sailed off into the distance. There is the margin, first to second. It's a big margin after just three and a half laps. The passing lights are already on because he's up behind Peter Seaton after four laps. And the gap between first and second almost at three seconds right now. 15.147 that last lap. Stay on the straight and narrow, please. Gap between him and Kevin McPherson does drop back to two seconds with that lap traffic. Person is getting past there. Meanwhile, further back, Jay Carty trying to get through, and uh, Jamie Oldfield also not too far away from Carty. Seven goes to one full second now. So Bosberg and able to just put a little bit of a gap between himself and McPherson. Jay Carty has gotten away now from Jamie Oldfield. Gap there is about a second or so. Then back to Luke Halliday. Oh, Carty gets a bit wide there at slam turn number three and brings Jamie Oldfield back to him for that third spot. So there's our race leader. He's got some uh, clear air ahead of him and behind him at the moment. This race. Yeah, I've just got to keep an eye on that battle for third and fourth because that is still tight between Jay Carty and Jamie Oldfield right now with 14, now 13 laps to go. Those two are still relatively close. You can see there Carty's just coming up to the back. Oh, sorry, Oldfield's coming up to the back of Jay Carty. Gap is 1.1 seconds. It was half a second. But Cardi just wants to make sure he's keeping that on the straight and narrow to stay in third spot. Bergen is absolutely braining them right now. As he heads down the triple end back straight, white car's completely slowed down and just about taken out the second place car in Ken McPherson. That allows Jay Cardi to get his way past, I think. And so Cardi is now, in fact, no. There is 26, Ken McPherson going into smoke. He's out of the race. Meanwhile, Jamie Oldfield has gotten ahead of Jay Carty, and so now Oldfield is in second. Uh, and uh, more than half a lap behind our race yeah, leader. True. Brent Vosbergen has just gone into turn one. Uh, there is a wall of cars here. There's Jamie Oldfield. He's in second place. He's just coming into the main straight. He's three quarters of a lap behind. Ten seconds is the margin at the moment as Vosbergen completes lap number 24. They are now side by side for third place. And Kinsella gives him a hip and shoulder at the end of the main straight and goes into third place. So Kinsella goes to third. Jay Carty goes back to fourth as uh, they're just now up behind Jamie Oldfield. So the battle for second, third and fourth is on. And the lead is gone. So Vosbergen has blown up. So Jamie Oldfield's now in front by a car length over Freddie Kinsella with two to go. What? <laughs> my two goodness. He's going to stop the car. Go. Yellow lights have had to oh, come on. Oh, my goodness. So Jamie Oldfield is the leader from Freddie Kinsella and Jay Carney, <laughs> and they were literally one behind the other. Play right now and as he pow. comes down the back straight. It just goes on him. Coney the third really is not quite, quite like Coney the second. He's not really braving at getting out on the racetrack, Chris. Well, would you trust Jamie Oldfield? Oh, yes. There's your answer. Your, your hesitation was all the answer I needed. <laughs> I do <laughs> trust oh, Jamie Oldfield. Hard luck for these motors tonight. These things are screaming. They're not getting a chance to breathe. And that's why we've seen a couple go up. Who's going to last the next three laps? So oh. it's going to be the thing with all these uh, races that have just been able to go from go to woe. Right, let's see what happens in the last three laps. Oh, 
Jamie Oldfield leads flying Freddie Kinsella and Jay Carty. Around Coney the third they go. Down into turn number one. And Freddie Kinsella oh. trying to get underneath it. Jamie Oldfield right at the get-go. Couldn't quite make it stick. Back to Jay Carty in third place. And then in fourth is Luke Halliday. Two laps to go here in the last race of the night. And it's Jamie Oldfield out in front. He skipped away a little bit. 0.6 of a second. Back to Freddie Kinsella. Jamie Carty and uh, Jay Carty and Luke Halliday, I should say. Luke Halliday is trying to get his way to the side of him. Meanwhile, further back, you've got Rod Massara battling away with David Boys. White lights on, one lap remaining. Jamie Oldfield probably didn't look like it was going to be a good night for him about halfway through this race. But you keep going, and you keep going, and you go around the track, and you get yourself to the finish line, and you get the win. Jamie Oldfield takes it from Freddie Kinsella and Jay Carty in third. Luke Halliday finishes in fourth. The Jamie Oldfield with a win here by 0.5 of a second. Brent Vosberg in the fastest lap of the race, by the way. Jamie Oldfield onto the top of his car. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause. Takes out the win here in the late models at the Motorplex. Yeah, but, yeah a few laps in there. Just, just comfortably sitting behind Jay and uh, had an absolute handful of a car to, to mess around with and didn't think we were going to go to the front. But uh, obviously you don't want to win them that way, but unlucky for uh, Brent and Kenny. They were, you know, they were leaps above us tonight and had way more pace. But uh, yeah, I really got to thank um, Frank Scarterfield, Scarterfield Smash. Courtney from the pool, pool shop group, um, Oldfield Settlements, Football Race Gear, Comex Civil, he's over in Thailand enjoying himself. Good on you, mate. Uh, Michael Holmes Racing, um, Bradley, all, Ash, all my crew, everyone that's come to support me, um, really appreciate it. Cheers. So to Dan Leach for your help here tonight. It's now wrapped up on night number one of the 25th running of the uh, Perth Motorplex. The grand opening showdown is done and dusted thanks to the city of Quinana.